Hello everyone, I'm KB Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com. Today, I want to show you how to prepare a braised Chinese pork ribs called Wu Si pork ribs. It is super easy to prepare. All you need is to marinate the pork ribs and then simmer with all the ingredients in the recipe. The superior texture comes from the slow cooking and the fantastic flavor is a result of the Chinese wine, Chinese vinegar and the rock sugar. Let me show you how to do it. You can get the recipe in the description right below the video and more information by following the link to the blog post. Clean the pork ribs, pat dry. Cut the meat in between each ribs, separate it into individual pieces. Transfer the pork ribs to a bowl. Add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of light soy sauce. Combine and then marinate the pork ribs for one to two hours. Just like the marinated pork rib. For about two minutes until the surface turns golden brown. Turn it over to brown the other side. Then remove and drain. Get about three stalks of scallion and cut it into about five centimeter sections. Add about 20 grams of ginger and cut it into slices. Next, add some oil in the pan. You do not need a lot of oil because we have already deep fried the pork ribs. So we have the ginger and plenty of scallion. Saute both over low heat until it turns aromatic. Once it turns aromatic, add the rest of the spices. So we have the cinnamon bark, cloves, and the star anise. Then we add the pork ribs back to the pan. Add about two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine. And one and a half tablespoons of vinegar. And also one and a half tablespoons of light soy sauce. A small amount of fine spice powder, half teaspoon and half teaspoon of ground white pepper. Simmer the pork ribs by adding some additional water. Add the water sufficient to at least able to nearly cover the pork ribs. Cover it and simmer over low heat until it is soft and tender. After 30 minutes of simmering, add the rock sugar and turn the ribs over for even cooking.
cover and continue simmer until it becomes tender and soft. Now let's take a look. We have cooked the pork rib for more than one and a half hours. I'll remove the pork ribs from the liquid. And then I'll add a small amount of cornstarch slurry to the raising liquid to thicken it. You do need to add oil. Just add until the consistency is thick enough so that the gravy will then be able to cling on to the surface of the ribs. I'll return the pork ribs back to the gravy and gently combine the gravy with the ribs. You can see now the rib is so soft that it is virtually fall off from the bone. Once the gravy it is thick enough and clings onto the ribs, turn off the heat and it's time to serve. This is how I prepare these Chinese braised pork ribs, Wu Si Pai Hu. I hope you enjoy watching and don't forget to follow this channel by clicking the subscription button. Until then, I'll see you again in the next video. My name is KP Kwan. Bye for now.